The youngest preserved house open to the public in West Sussex is Standen, near East Grinstead. It was designed by Philip Webb in the 1890s. He added to some existing farm buildings. Even more recent times are revived at Tangmere, in the quiet churchyard are the graves of fallen airmen. Tangmere Aerodrome was built in 1917 and it later played a vital part in the Battle of Britain. Shipley Windmill, a so-called smock mill because of its shape, was owned by the writer Hilaire Belloc. He used to doff his hat and call it Mrs Shipley. And here's a des res for the birds. This environment only seems natural. In fact, the Wildfowl Trust dug out these ponds overlooked by Arundel Castle. Now there's a permanent collection of about a thousand birds, plus a similar number which fly in from outside. The Trust buildings, with their large observation windows, have won an architectural award. Chichester has the only English medieval cathedral visible from the sea. The bell tower, unusually, is separate from the rest of the building. The spire is relatively new. In 1861, the old one collapsed and crashed into the nave. All aboard for a trip into the industrial past of Sussex at the Chalk Pits Museum near Amberley. Not a distant past, perhaps, but for younger visitors, it's another world. And this fine old building, the Marley Pins, is an unusual survivor, a Norman building without religious or military connections. It was the Customs House. Now it's a maritime museum. Gatwick, one of the world's largest in terms of passenger movements. It's brought high employment to a large area of West Sussex. It was George V who granted the town its posh Regis suffix. He'd come down to nearby Aldwick to recuperate from a serious illness. There's a rather larger pond at Linfield, one of the most beautiful of West Sussex villages. The ancient and beautiful bridge at Stopham near Pulborough. It was built over the Arran in 1423 to replace the old ferry and it steadfastly bore its burdens long after horses and carts had given way to modern juggernauts. Note the refuges or passing places on either side. 